Okay, viewers, so, um, Mike Money Gamer here, and we're back with more, uh, Morrowind. Uh, it looks like our only hope is to swim away, because they can't chase you in the water, apparently. But we all know what's in the water. Asshole fish. We're gonna hide here for a little bit to get our energy up. See, because he still can't get us right here, so. Okay, so, um, let me tell you what happened. I tried jumping away again using the, you know, obvious spell. I was gonna head off in this direction, which would have hopefully landed us about here, but instead I jumped into the mushroom trees, hit the ground, and just decided, you know what? I remember in this game that most enemies can't swim, so I'm just gonna go and hide in the water and hope for the best. Looks like you can go in the water. But, um... I wonder if it's trying to get back to its spawn point or something. Now, here's something I can tell you that's really annoying in this game. An enemy leaves and leaves you alone, right? Here's a very, very unfortunate thing. Even though it seems like it might be gone, sometimes you can turn around and the damn thing is still there. So don't always, um rely on, you know, seeing an enemy disappear from your sight. But those are the creatures that, um, that guy heard, and I think that is what killed him, and you have to find his dead body to continue the thing. So I'm gonna sneak up here to this farm. Because she said that we can hide out here. Oh no, what do you want? Seems the fuss about the Neverine prophecy was just silly superstition. Then I learned that Dunmar have been waiting for Lord to come back. Just hard labor as soon as we rid of assassination. You're on your honor. Don't press your luck. Will you allow me to rest in your house? Yes, you will, okay. I think we're safe. Damn If only I had a bow, then I could take it out from the water and I'd be safe. Well, I can head towards Vivek. Maybe. If I get lucky. Vivek can protect me for a while. 
Or this area up here can protect me. Mud crabs can swim, by the way, and they will swim towards you if you're near them. By the way, you know the thing where it's like, hey, the guards can save you. Um, there is one bad thing to that. Um, <laughs> it's surviving until you get to them. <laughs> so, don't rely on that. They are real manner, huh? I don't know if these things inside these urns are safe to take or not. I don't know you, what do you want? I am a noble of great house, whatever. It is my privilege and pleasure to serve my house and clan as leader and protector of its ancient prerogatives. Cool. I don't really care. That's nice. Please, huh? What if I can sleep here? <laughs> Phew, alright. Now we at least won't die. Master, I train and condition the local milita. Teach the citizens basically a block spear and long blade, mostly a concert on athletics and acrobatics. Fight they pass out after short jog and full kit. <laughs> kill those with fireballs. 2 to 20 points? Ugh, I don't know. Maybe? I slept in a slave hut. <laughs> Guard house. I'll talk with people I don't like. Okay, sure, whatever. Oh yeah, this giant thing. These things can actually be very dangerous if you attack them. I think one of the people here will actually explain that to you. Just a friendly warning, don't spook the niche. Don't worry, they're completely safe if you don't bother them. They get them riled up in their trouble, especially the Betty niche. It's a tough one. 
It's the bull natch that's poisonous, but the bending natch is twice as tough and twice as mean. <laughs> Normally a single bending natch will have a harem of five or six bull natch, but we keep the bull betty fraction closer to one to one for faster breeding. It tends to make our bending natch a little more aggressive than they are in the wild. Do I like enough to talk to you about this? <laughs> oh, you don't like us much at all, do you? <laughs> Say straight and sharp, Breton. I think you mean it. Yay! So, like, he likes us enough that we can tell us a little of that stuff. <laughs> what do you want to talk to Orvis Dren for? He's not likely to want to see you. This is a private plantation, but some people may be willing to train you on the side. Oh, okay, cool. All the work, niche processing, storage, shipping is handled in the eastern and western part of the compound. <sighs> so there's really... Creativity, but guar blankets aren't for wearing. What are you talking about? My clothes? <laughs> oh yeah, Marie's left glove. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> I might need to take a short break from this game, I'm not gonna lie. So there's nothing for us here apparently, but we found it for later, so that's great. And unfortunately there's no Silt Strider here to help us escape. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at our map. We want to head to Peligad. That was a place that they said to go. That's another thing that won't hurt you, thankfully. Unless you stupidly attack it, then it will hurt you like hell, <laughs> if I remember. What are you up to? A farmer, okay. Light is the signal you get from being outside during ash storms. The signal comes from Red Mountain. It makes normal creatures into terrible monsters. Ah, okay. These that turns normal creatures into beasts. Turns men into twisted and mad lumps of flesh. <laughs> Superhumanly strong and full of hatred. You get corpus from biting with diseased creatures. It's hard to get corpus, but harder to get rid of it. In fact, I hear there's no cure. Hmm. Balling is just it's interesting. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. Hello, Corky. <laughs> was interrupted by a script touching me. Okay, scripts don't actually do anything to you, so why do I care? Let's see, um, a little 
four here in the guard to guard the roads between Vivek, Sandy Balmora, and Points North. Some veterans took their mustering out pay and built themselves some little farms here. A few shops and a trade house. It's a pleasant little place if you didn't know better. You think you're in Daggerfall or some other high rock town. What's this about? Well, let's check out this trade house. Maybe it'll have something important for us. You're on your honor. Don't press your luck. Oh, the tavern. Well, we can sell those eggs that we got here. <laughs> if nothing else. Go ahead. Food and beds are both at the same time. <laughs> your choice. Five seconds. Sure, I'll take that. how I do things. It's filling in price to move. Yeah, okay, good. I'm a publican. I have food to buy and bets for lodgers. I also know the neighborhood and can share local lore. And he's a trader. Deals in a bit of every, any of everything, so... Um... Thieves go to, they say the thieves gotta have some people here, but why would I know anything about that? That's funny. Legal narcotic. It's the halfway trade house, a couple of merchants, a few colonists in Fort Pelagrad. This is for outlanders, colonists from the Empire, adventurers looking for our own fortunes. We have no travel service, but walking is good exercise. <laughs> Yeah, sure it is. It's the boss of Fort Pelagad. It's a halfway trade house. Do you not belong to? But no one has to must say what must not say, ah the East Guild. Like money is Breton. What does it matter? We are all outlanders. <laughs> That's awesome. A little four here in the guard between the places. Blah 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 blah. Why are you asking me? Maybe you'd like to join the thief skill? No, not right now. Even though it is a fun thing to join. Me around here. I'm Lady. Uh, is she looking for someone to take her? Um, actually, I remember. Too bad. Can't train you against the rules. Guild guy is a spell caster at the Mage's Guild to provide the magical transport for a small fee. You only travel from one Mage's Guild to another, but it's the fastest way to travel between Vivek, Balmora, Aldrin, Caldera, and San. Okay. Traveling to Vivek from the Guild Guide is the best way to get lost. Just a little bit of information for you. <laughs> I am a savant. I am a woman of wide learning and cosmopolitan taste. A well traveled woman. Educated, refined in manner, able to converse on various topics with authority. Ah, okay. Cool. Hmm. 
Yep, no such luck. Hi. What do you think you're doing here? Go away. Now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me close the door for you. <laughs> your fault for keeping your door unlocked. <laughs> Sorry, stranger. My time is short, so get on with it. Well, what's down here? Anything important? Lots of empty bottles? Yep. I've sold bottles before just to kind of do it. Racer plumes, huh? Hmm, not worth it at all. Typical for me is just like to steal all the food that they have in places and then just leave. <laughs> What? You're gonna me? Speak Ashland? Not speak so good all day. Sorry. I don't trust you enough to talk about that. Okay, no problem. Setting yourself up as a mercenary or requesting hero? Not much call for that around here. Rats are in the occasional bandit are their only problems. <laughs> I'm a lovable rogue, a <laughs> silver tongued devil with a taste for the better things in life. But lovable as I am, some people will get upset with me, and so I must fight. Purely in self defense, you understand. I like light armor and short blades for self-defense. Heavy armor and heavy weapons just tire you out. But I train with various different weapon types and armor types. What do you want? <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this episode short for today. Um, I just kind of wanted to play some of this to get it out of my system because... Um, I was hoping that we'd be able to accomplish a lot more in this game, but no, we really didn't. But I did show you a lot of what the game has to offer, so I'm going to take a break from this game. Um, I do have something else planned for you guys, so don't worry, and it'll probably be pretty awesome, I'm sure. Till then, everyone. Bye.